All right, let's look at how a firm that's a monopoly, how the monopolist sets their price. When we are thinking about firms, we're focusing always on the assumption that the firm wants to maximize profit. And the maximizing profit rule is to increase your output to the point where the marginal revenue equals the marginal cost on the very last unit. If we are operating in perfect competition, uh, price is going to be equal to marginal revenue, right? Because you can sell as many units as you want at the going market price. So the marginal revenue is always equal to the price. And since we operate at a point where we maximize profit at marginal revenue equal to marginal cost on the last unit, the price is sort of a given. The firm doesn't have to make a decision. It's going to be price is equal to marginal revenue, which is equal to marginal cost. And that's the end of the story. It's a little bit of a different circumstance for the monopoly. So how exactly does this work? Well, let's look at it graphically. So we have to remember that the monopolist has pricing power, and as you saw in another screencast, they face a downward sloping demand curve. So we've got our demand curve, and we have a separate marginal revenue curve that also slopes downward because they have to lower their price to sell more units, and that means they get a decreasing amount of marginal revenue when they want to sell more units. So they've got their upward sloping marginal cost curve and like any profit maximizing firm they're going to set their output quantity where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So you can see lowercase q star is the profit maximizing quantity for the monopoly firm. And at that dollar amount, if we were in perfect competition, that amount where those two are equal, that would also be the price but we're not in a perfectly competitive market. We are in a monopoly market. They're the only firm. They have the opportunity to set price, and they're gonna set the price based on that demand curve because the demand curve really reflects what people, what the market demanders are willing to pay for the product. So at that level of output quantity, they work their way up to that corresponding point on the demand curve and that little orange point going across, that would be the high price that the monopoly firm sets. So price in the monopoly market is greater than marginal revenue, which is equal to the marginal cost. And since the price is greater than the marginal cost, which would also be the point where they're operating on their margin or their average total cost curve, because the price is greater than the marginal cost, there is positive economic profit. And so the monopoly firm operates in this position where they can generate positive economic profit in the short run and the long run because no firms can enter to mess up their really great situation. We'll look at some other aspects of Monopoly in a different screencast.